Today's video is made possible by Hulu Plus. What's up tech fans, Kevin here on Tech of Tomorrow. Now, I've done a lot of collector's editions and unboxings in the past, but they've all been on my other home channel, TLD Today, because it's been all console stuff. And we thought we'd go ahead and change that starting now. And what better way to do it than to unbox the collector's edition of one of the most anticipated PC games of the year, Titanfall. We're gonna unbox it, review it, and touch a little bit on the gameplay. So without wasting any more of your time, let's rip this thing wide open and see what it has to offer. So here we have it, the Titanfall Collector's Edition. Now, as I said earlier, I've unboxed a lot of Collector's Editions in the past, both off and on camera, and I have to say that this is easily the largest one I've ever gotten my hands on. I'm sure there's some specific older game that might rival it, but this thing is absolutely massive. The box itself shows several of the promo images we've seen before, such as showing a Titan and a pilot, and as per usual, the backside lists and shows all of its contents. After cutting off some tape on the top of the box, we can lift off the cover and see a simpler black design, with the front showing a simple icon of a pilot and his Titan, and the sides bearing the game's title. Now this collector's edition opens up a little differently than most, usually you open the top of the box to pull stuff out, but this one has a little more style. We just have to undo this latch on the front, and right away we can see all of the box's contents displayed, including a handy little instruction manual taped to the opening flap to help us know just how to safely remove all of this stuff. So to begin with, we of course have our PC copy of the game. There's no in-game bonuses for this edition, so all we're getting inside are numerous installation discs and the usual couple of pieces of paper. Next to that, we have the poster, which is designed to look like a simple blueprint of the Atlas-type Titan, which is the design we've seen in most of the videos and the beta. It's basically the well-balanced starter Titan. Right next to that, we have the game's art book. As opposed to most art books these days, which are these odd little half-sized things with only 20 or 30 pages, the Titanfall art book is a proper full-size coffee table book with just under 200 pages of art, with chapters dedicated to the designs of titans and pilots, vehicles and weapons, locations in the game, and some of the final actual physical models of titans. This is definitely one of the better art books I've seen in more recent collector's editions, probably the best one since Skyrim's. Now that we've got those out of the way, let's go ahead and slide this whole thing out and get a better look at the statue. Bringing it out reveals a few more items on the top of the package. First up, we've got the Certificate of Authenticity, which shows that we got number 26,023 out of the 35,000 of these that they made. We also have a pair of soldier figures that were just not safe enough to travel all as one with the statue, so we'll put that all together in a bit. So now we can start carefully removing all of the styrofoam and different little supports and have the statue itself in its full glory. This is the largest statue I've ever gotten in a collector's edition, standing at 19 and a half inches tall and has a lot of great detail, depicting an Atlas-type Titan with an enemy trying to board it. All we have to do now is add our two soldiers from earlier, one taking point and the other one trying to take out the enemy pilot. And we have a complete, gigantic statue which also happens to light up when you push this little button disguised as a rock. So all in all, this is a very traditional, straightforward collector's edition that just did everything it could bigger. A great art book, good full-size poster, and a fantastic nearly 20-inch tall statue. Now, is it worth 250 bucks? Well, just like how big it is, this thing is just as easily one of the most expensive editions we've ever purchased, weighing in at the same price of some game systems with a title or two to start. Now, given you always kind of have to take a collector's edition pricing with a grain of salt because they're all overpriced relative to what you get. And while this one has few items, what you do get is substantial and none of them feel like a waste. I'm gonna have to say, surprising even myself, that I feel like this one is kind of worth what you pay for. Given purchasing a giant statue and art book aren't exactly a necessity, but if you've got the money to shell out and you're already a huge fan of the game, either because you played the beta or you just know you're gonna get it one way or the other, I feel like you get what you pay for as far as collector's editions go, especially with this statue. Now, while we were throwing this together, I took the time to install the full version of the game and spend a little time with it. And from what little I've played so far, it's very similar to what we experienced in the beta, but just with more things to do. To begin with, one of the really nice things is that right off the bat, you have different Titans to use as loadouts, with the tank loadout now using the Ogre instead of the Atlas, which is just way more tanky. The game's campaign mode is played out simply by joining specific multiplayer matches using a certain map and game mode, with a few spoken lines before and during the match to fill out its plot. Otherwise, it's just like hopping onto multiplayer. Same experience, which in my opinion is really a good thing. I've grown really tired of tacked on single player campaigns out of a sense of tradition. Also, while I haven't run super thorough benchmarks just yet, I did go ahead and checked out my average frame rate right now running on 2560 by 1440 with all settings set to max. 
Nice. On our system, which includes an MSI GTX 780 Twin Frozer and an i7-4770K processor, I was getting an average of 57 frames per second during matches, just barely under 60 and keeping consistently smooth throughout the match, which is a good thing. Now before I let you guys go, I want to take a moment to thank Hulu Plus for helping make today's video possible. Most of you have probably gone to Hulu at least once to catch a show that recently aired or find something to kill time on, but Hulu Plus just gives you so many more benefits. Grabbing it lets you watch your favorite currently airing shows, as well as catch full seasons of classics and even exclusive Hulu originals like The Wrong Man's. And if you don't feel like watching stuff on your computer, then great, because with Hulu Plus you can also watch it on your tablet, smartphone, or a number of streaming devices that you can hook up to your TV. So you can relax on the couch. If you've yet to try it out for yourself, Hulu is awesome enough to supply our fans with a way to get a special extended 14-day free trial. All you have to do is go to huluplus.com TOT. Make sure you sign up through there so that way you get the extra seven days and at the same time, show us some support. Well, that's all for today's video. I'm gonna go ahead and lose myself in Titanfall for the next week to let you guys know my full thoughts as soon as possible. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to let us know by hitting that like button. And while you're down there, we've also got some links posted so you can grab the game for yourself if you like. There's also a link posted for the collector's edition, which is a bit hard to come by at the moment, but just in case any come back up, check it out. If you're not a subscriber yet, then make sure to change that because we've got more content on the way, including a review of South Park The Stick of Truth and, of course, Titanfall. Until then, I'm Kevin for Tech of Tomorrow. See you later.